Hello again. Um, in another video in this series, um, I talked about pop-up cards and pop-up books and showed you how to make the uh, box fold, which is one of the two uh, main mechanisms used in pop-up cards. Uh, here's an example of um, a, a box fold. Um, in this pop-up book, you can see a box fold in action in the middle there, but the legs are operated by a V fold. It's quite difficult to see, but under there I can see two V folds. So this is how you uh, make a V fold. Um, when I'm working with uh, children, I do this with Year 3 Plus, we just use cheap paper just to practice the um, V folds. And once I've shown them how to do it, I encourage them to come up with their own plans and designs for a pop-up card or pop-up book. First thing we do is to fold the piece of paper. And then we're going to um, make one cut. Now we're just learning how to do a V fold here. So we're just going to do one cut um, down the middle and we're just going to cut in a straight line. Um, I have three rules that I use from when making pop-ups. The first rule is we nearly always cut into the folded edge of the card or book. And the second rule is when you do start cutting, you nearly always stop before you get halfway across. Because nearly always you want the mechanism not to be visible when the card or book is closed. Next thing we're going to do is to fold up one of these flaps. It could be either one. Now, exactly how, what angle you fold it uh, is, is up to you. Um, I'm just going to fold uh, a right angle 45-45 degree triangle. Just using my fingernails to make a really sharp fold. And the third rule of pop-ups is that whenever we fold, uh, we always double fold. That means we fold it one way and then we take it round and fold it back on itself the other side. We do that to get a really flexible fold. We now open up the card to a V shape. We, we call this a valley fold and the opposite is a mountain fold. And what we've got to do now with all pop-ups you have to turn um, a valley into a mountain or vice versa, a mountain into a valley. And we just need to turn that part of the valley that I've highlighted in pencil. I don't know if you can see that. We've got to turn that part of the valley into a mountain. It's one of these techniques that uh, the first time you do it is quite tricky, especially if you're year three. But the more, the more you do, the easier it gets. If you get hold of it and then pinch it between your fingers, that will make it stay as a mountain. And can you see that the two sides here are turning into valleys and then as we close the card it will kind of automatically fold itself up into a V fold and then once you've squashed it on the table and run your fingers around it will forever stay as a V fold and now we have a a mechanism there we've got a moving mechanism um, we could back this onto another piece of paper or a card to give it a bit more support if you do glue them together, then obviously make sure that you keep the glue well away from the part that moves. Now, that has lots of potential. We've got um, a mechanism there that we could exploit. Um, perhaps if it was this way round, it could be um, the roof of a building, perhaps. It could be a, perhaps a pop-up school. It could be a tent. Um, it could be, perhaps if we could stick another piece of card for it, it could be an umbrella handle. Perhaps um, a a rainy day scene. Uh, if it's this way round, perhaps it could be uh, a container, perhaps a flower vase, perhaps a get well soon card. And I, I encourage your pupils to, 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 to come up with a plan, a piece of paper and start to brainstorm ideas about what their pop-up card or pop-up book is going to be about. Um, so there's plenty of potential even with that one. Um, we can continue practicing if we um, bring this back to this stage we can fold up the other side so we do exactly the same bring it up to a triangle one fold always double fold and now we'll pop up that side as well in exactly the same way 
get hold of the V, pinch it, and then as you close it and squash it, that will stay as a V. So your car's looking like that now. And then when we open it up, we've got a really interesting shape. It could be a bird's beak, perhaps a pop-up Easter card. It could be a, um, a mouth. Um, if you did two, two smaller ones, so one cut here, one cut here, and open the card this way, it could be a pair of eyes, perhaps. Um, I come up with a design sheet here. Here's um, a frog or a toad. And in exactly the same way, you fold this along there, cut up there, and then fold up each side to make a pop-up frog. And that's all ready to be coloured in. Um, I remind uh, pupils when they're working on pop-up cards, it's easy to get carried away with the with the uh, mechanism part, but the front of the card is very important. I try to get them to think about if they were trying to sell it, if they were marketing their card or book. The front has got to look uh, attractive and appealing, so perhaps this could be a card explaining the life cycle of a frog. So perhaps we could have a, a pond with tadpoles and frog spawn on the front. Um, we can go even further with older children, this is quite difficult. Um, we could have another cut up here, I don't know if you can see that line I've drawn there, so I'm cutting along here. Don't cut too far, just over a centimetre is enough, so I've cut a there, and we're going to fold over two mini V folds there. The paper now is quite thick, so you do have to have quite strong fingers. You can use the handle of the scissors to rub the fold. Now do the other side. Probably year five and six would only be able to do this. And there we go. And now we open it up and we pop up those two pairs of mini, mini V's. There's one. being a bit stubborn there it goes and once again once you've closed the card and squash it they would always stay as they're supposed to be. Um, perhaps it could be um, a ghost card, perhaps it could be a ghoul or a ghost. Um, got some other examples here that I'm working on. Um, what have we got? Uh, oh you've seen the the vase, um, this is a, a T-Rex design I'm working on. So with this one, I've cut, instead of cutting a straight line, I've cut a zigzag line. So we've got a zigzag line there to make a, a scary pair of jaws. So um, I hope I've inspired you to have a go at making um, V-fold pop-up cards. Best of luck.